Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another yarn unboxing. I know one after another. I <laughs> can't believe it. Well, this package is from Hobby Lobby. Finally, it arrived. You guys know that Hobby Lobby does not ship to Canada or anywhere. They only ship it to the U.S. lands. And uh, I think they don't even ship it to Alaska. That's what I heard. Too bad, though. But I am using the DY... K post services so um i'm dealing with these people okay i just want to say thank you so much christine f from uh youtube you commented i really appreciate it that they have a sale yeah so what i did is i jumped in the wagon i've been checking them since i read your comment I said, yeah, if they have a sale, why not, right? Why would I pay shipping fee? Because I already paid. Um, let me see if I can. Here we go. Can you see I paid $34.87. This is for custom fee, brokerage fee. I don't know. It goes on and on. DYK fee. Other charges. So uh, I paid uh, $34.87 to DYK for this to be picked up from Montana green uh, sweet grass and to be delivered to their location and uh, this is my second time doing this so at least I think I saved a little bit other than that it was coming to one ball of yarn was coming to ten dollars so uh, I'm assuming I saved up I just need to add this so what I did is I they have every other sales, every other week sales. I think they're 30%. So that's what I've been watching. And uh, mostly they have uh, the sales on weekends, but this was on the weekday. Isn't it funny? So they did not have a free shipping on the weekend. They had the free shipping on the weekday. And uh, I put my email address so they're emailing me every time they have a sale or free shipping okay here is where it went to so it says that it's eight pound okay so I'm opening the package da -da -da -da! oh my goodness did I buy the same color oh my goodness I think I already have this color in my stash that's what I usually instant classic no, it looks like this color, but it's not the same. So this is Ilti yarn. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's made in Canada. Uh, I'm sorry. It's made in Turkey. Made in Turkey. Can you read it? It's a four weight. So most of my arms, I, use, uh, I aim for four because I like to knit with four millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter knitting needles, five millimeter crochet hook. 5.5 you know around that time around that measurement and this is a four weight so happy okay okay here's my package can you see the sale oh this is nice so I did not pay regular price because these are way more expensive so everything was on sale. Oh, it doesn't give me the total amount, but I think it was about $82 in American. And plus I paid uh, DYK. So I will do my multiplication and I'll be right back to let you know how much each uh, balls come to. I had to try this. Look at the color. I want to make myself a cowl. So I bought two. Oh, I just love, love, love pastel rainbow it's so soft okay this is called adore a ball super bulky but i love 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 the color years ago over 20 years ago we used to have craft canada and i made a shawl it was beautiful colors and i sold it on my etsy shop asap it was sold to again a canadian and then she came and bought a cardigan from me later on, but I, I, I could never forget that yarn. So this is the same yarn as that. And I paid a fortune for that yarn, I remember. So this one, I can't even... Let's see what this was. Uh, 
This one is Adore a Baby. Look at the color. So this is like a bulky, super bulky. It says it is um, oh, six weight. I don't know if you can see it. So tiny. Let me see, it says it's a six weight. Okay, so how much did I pay? So this was on sale. It doesn't give me the regular price. So I bought two. Okay, adorable. Where are you? Huh. Baby B. Well, I can't find it here. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, this is what it is. Two balls of this. There's not much in it. That's why I bought uh, two uh, skeins, two balls to make something, a decent something, like a cowl. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I really love this yarn, so I went and bought two more. And uh, while I was at it, I went and bought two more of the pure white. Okay, again, this is uh, Sugar Wheel Cotton Solids. And I really, really like this. It's Pima Cotton. The yarn is just gorgeous. So this is, uh, says it's a three weight. And uh, I bought these to crochet something. Baby stuffing. This would be perfect. Okay. Made with fibers grown in the U.S. And it says made in Turkey. So I don't know. The labels are uh, can't be made and grown in the U.S. Because Turkey is at the other side of the world. Okay, so let me put these. While I was at it, Pima, I don't know if you're watching this. Uh, you wanted this color. I know you live in UK. So uh, I emailed you if you want it. Uh, I will send you a PayPal invoice. If you want me to create you a custom listing on Etsy, I will do that. But there's fees on custom listings. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'll just create one on Etsy. Just let me know if you want it. Because I bought one for myself and one for you. And I ordered these on October the 27th, I believe. Just looking at the date here. Huh. October 29th. And today's December 2nd. So it does take a while, especially when in the holiday season. So uh, I won't be ordering. I'm still adding stuff as I see people are knitting with. Because they look gorgeous. So I thought this was the same yarn as this one. This one was on the auction at Iplik Outlet on Instagram. So I grabbed a lot of yarn of this, but this is way thinner. If you look at it, can you see? But the colors are gorgeous. Just a tint a little thinner, this one. So this is a four weight. I love this yarn. It's fruit salad. It says it's a four weight. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's a four weight and I believe this is a three weight. But when I compare it to this, it's, this is a three weight. I don't think this is a three weight because this one is way thinner. Well, I'll, I bet uh, I can work with the same crochet hook. So this one is recommending a 4.5. I think I can make something with this. I bought these for hats, to knit hats, because they just look so cute when you knit them up on your uh, knitting machine, Addy or Centro. Okay, so let me just put this aside. So I went and I bought this because I saw this on a hat and it looks so cute. This is called Co uh, co co cobblestone and I only bought one to make one hat because that's what I use and I saw another hat with knitted with this color so again Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and this is called Cypress Landing 
but look at the color I just love it love it so I only bought one just to see how it looks my husband he loves my knitting hats he wears every week a different hat <laughs> so he, this will be his this is more like a feminine I might make it for my mom we'll see okay and this one I showed earlier did I give you the colorway yeah this one was Cypress Landing cobblestone and what was this one uh, instant classic it's like coffee huh coffee names okay so here's the other white looks like they bagged one of them and the other one was not in the bag too bad they don't send out gifts right you spend so much money and I went and bought this colorway because for men it looks so good the color oh, I just loved it loved it so this is yarn B oh, the tags are inside okay. well, this one too okay this one is a little bit different color than this one this is more of a coffee and latte well they're all in, all in the brown family but this one's a little tint darker than this one and uh You know what? I bought these for myself, so I'll just open the bag. All right, I'm not going to sell them. The other one, I might. Because I bought two. Oh, yeah, these feel like merino wool. Superwash merino wool. Okay, the color is called Linen 202. Soft, sleek, low pill fiber. Just the quality. And I used the entire ball of one to make a hat so what I'll do is I'll make a hat and I'll make a scarf with the two so this will be a set okay, and again uh, this is a four weight so tiny it's a four weight and it's low pill acrylic but the quality is fantastic these are all made in Turkey. Yep. Okay, let me put this aside. And this one is a little bit darker than the other one. And I give lots of gifts. Like today, I was I stopped at the saw so, so, uh, stop so, uh, the light. It was red, and I saw this beggar. I usually what I do is I put a scarf and a hat and mittens that I make. Mittens are a little bit harder because it's time consuming. But if I do, I put them in a bag and I gift them. I did not have any. And I said, wow, I better put them in the car just in case, right? So instead of giving money, I would just give them the hat and the scarf. So that's what I usually do. Since I was a teenager, I would gift them instead of giving money. Come on, folks. <laughs> won't let me focus. Oh, geez. Here we go. Okay, again, this is a four weight. And I really like this color. It just looks fantastic on a hat that you uh, knit up. So this one's called Brownie 200. Lovely name, Brownie. <laughs> again, it's the low pill. And I notice I wash, I wash my husband's... Uh, hats and uh, what happens is uh i wash them in the dryer put them in a bag you know those protection bags and uh it's like it looks like brand new okay while i was at it i'm i'm in this uh, knitting group and people are making scarves they're knitting half of it like cowls mostly they're cowls so I thought, oh, let me make myself one. So I bought the fabric. Uh, Hobby Lobby sells fabric too. I thought that was nice. Oh, jeez. Come on. So I bought the hat. I bought the fabric. Okay, this one was, your fabric was cut by Kim... Kim Hang F. Thank you, Kim Hang F. Thank you. 
you're watching this. I don't know. I do tag Hobby Lobby, I guess. There's lots of yarn in here, and I just only bought one piece. Oh, wow. I can make it even sew a pants with this. Wow, there's lots of fabric in it. Oh, I bought two quantity. Oh, I must have made a mistake. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah. It was on discount. It was on it was on 50% off. So that's so I bought two. Oh, there's lots of fabric in here. Two yards maybe? I did not realize that. I just need a little piece to make a scarf. But you know what? I can make PJs. Oops. I can make PJs with this. Look at the color. Why not, eh? I have to think about this. While I was at it, I saw this. So I want to make a pom-pom. But is this the fabric that they use to make pom-poms? Oh my goodness, so it's just a, I thought it was a square. So this is the back. Because I'm paying a fortune, I, uh, I bought pom-poms again. Karen had a discount, you know, with the shipping, it comes with American dollars, they add up. Well, I think you need to brush this, okay. Okay. I'm just going to bring my pom-pom, I wonder if it's the same. When I make the scarf, I'll do a tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to make the scarf because I don't want to waste this fabric. There's lots in here, you know, to make, to sew up uh, pants, you know, a uh, PJ under. Okay, so I'm just going to measure this. I, I'm just surprised. Surprised. <laughs> so they're about, they're about, oh, they're small. They're four and a half. I'm going to make squares. Let's measure this. How many I can make. It's not even 40 inches. It's 19, 19, 36 inch, 38 inches. It's not the same. Totally different. I thought it, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it for kids because it's small. Well, this was on sale again. So that's the reason I uh, bought the fabric. Yeah, it was on sale for $3.49. And I wanted to see it before, you know, I buy more. So that's the reason I only bought Oh, oh yeah, it's not even the same. Totally different. Look, look at this one. It's totally furry. Look. Yeah, I'll make something for the kids. For babies. Maybe it would be more appropriate. Because uh, the furs are not that long if you look at it. Oh, jeez. See, we don't even have places to buy fur like this. We have to order and then it costs us a fortune. Yeah. You guys are so lucky who lives in the States. You have everything there. And shipping prices is low. Compared to us. Yeah. If I need to ship this in Edmonton, I have to pay like 15 Canadian dollars, one five. Or else it's no way I can ship it. Okay, so this is all. I'm just uh, surprised with that. That's I thought it was a small fabric so um yeah Let's put these here so, so stay tuned i am going to show you how to uh crochet from a picture i saw this beautiful crochet uh uh sample i think she the girl was making a shawl but i will uh, show it to you when when it's done in a uh, flat
back and forth. And if you want, I can uh, make a tutorial how to knit up a shawl from the corner or corner to corner. But I just fell in love with the stitch. Yeah, this is all I bought today. Ah, uh, on the 29th of October. When I went to pick up the package from the DYK, uh, I bought PJs for my husband and they were too small. So I went to Winners and look what I found. Wrapping paper. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Love it, love it, love it. See, I don't go often. When I need to go, I, I write down, at least I have four places to do errands before I pick up my package or drop a package. So uh, that was one of them. My husband, PJ, was too small. We bought it over a week ago. So I went and exchanged it. And meanwhile, I grabbed these. And look at this silver. I, I will wrap this with bride, bridal shrugs anything for brides because it's gray and uh yeah so uh, if you want to buy something from my shop go and buy it i will wrap it with this beautiful santa claus wrapping i just love it and i bought i paid 3.99 canadian dollars the regular price was six dollars oh, they're very cute and it's called the min winter mid winter modern yeah, they're nice though. There's 20 of them. And uh, I wrap them. Even I put them in a nice bag. I wrap my packages when I before I ship them. Yeah, finally my uh, Hobby Lobby package arrived. Yes. So I hope you like this uh, unboxing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And happy knitting. Happy crocheting. I really like that fabric. I love the colors. You know, they're a uh, classic. Yeah. You guys take care.